Hi friends, welcome to Cindy's Corner. It's the end of Thanksgiving week and I'm sure you have some leftovers just like I do. So tonight we're gonna make a snack with some of the Thanksgiving leftovers and we're gonna make a fun beverage for us. So we're gonna start with our snack and these, what we're doing is turkey cranberry slider sandwiches. Okay, so basically, instead of just making a regular sandwich, I got some rolls that I thought would be about the size for a slider. And these are sandwiches because they're, they're not baked or anything, they're just like a regular sandwich, but I'm gonna use rolls instead of bread. So we'll put that to the side for a second because what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna make a um, seasoned mayonnaise. So I've got three tablespoons of mayonnaise here and I've chopped up, finely chopped, one tablespoon of green onion, just the green parts, okay? And if you have chives, you could use that too. Okay, and to that, I'm gonna add just, this is poultry seasoning. That just has a wonderful mix of spices. So I'm just gonna take a pinch of that and put into here. Okay, we can put that aside. And then just some salt and pepper. So I'm just gonna bring it up high. Okay, <clears throat> and some pepper. I like to go a little heavy on the pepper for me. Okay. Now I'm gonna take, look at these cute little spoons. These are like tasting spoons. So I'm just gonna use that to mix this all up. And I think this will be nice instead of just regular mayonnaise to put on our sandwich. Okay, so I've just mixed it up like that. Okay, now we can start kind of building this. Okay, so here's our plate. So we're gonna take the tops off. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna spread the mayonnaise onto the bottoms. Doesn't that look really nice? So we have the specks of the pepper and the green onion in there. That's going to be really nice and tasty. I hope you all had a really nice Thanksgiving. It was cool and breezy here, but I did manage to get a good, good walk in. I'm working on getting my steps in. I walked yesterday and today over five miles, both days, and my legs are sore. <laughs> so. Tomorrow, we'll be back out there doing it again. Okay. All right, so there's our mayonnaise portion. So we're done with the mayonnaise. Now, next I have lettuce. So I have pieces of lettuce. I've just kind of, this is iceberg lettuce. You can use any kind that you like. I've just kind of torn pieces and I'm just gonna kind of fold it this one, it looks like if I fold it into thirds, that ought to fit. Yeah, that fits on there nice. So let's see, that one might be a little too big. So you can, you know, for something like this, you can just kind of tear them to the size that looks appropriate for what you've got going on here. Okay, there's that one's good. And I need one more. Let's see, actually this one looks almost the right size the way it is okay all right that's great okay next we have cheese so I've got Monterey Jack cheese here and these that come in those little um, eight ounce blocks so I, I find that to be pretty darn handy let's see let's get this this way so I'm gonna put like two pieces on each sandwich and that that just looks like that fits Perfect. Okay, next we have the star of the show, the turkey, or in my case, I'm actually using chicken breast. So whatever white meat you have that works great, or whatever kind of thing that you have left over from Thanksgiving. So these pieces are kind of just perfect size for this. I'm gonna be able to fit two pieces on each slider. Okay, so there we go. That's what we have so far. 
Now, of course, the cranberry sauce. Okay, so this is homemade cranberry sauce that I made yesterday. Just be, you know, in the morning I make this. So it's all ready for Thanksgiving dinner. Okay, so I'm gonna start with just a small bit. I'm not sure exactly how that's gonna fit on here. So let me just kind of spread that around. I think, you know, like a half a teaspoon or something of a, you know, of a regular dinnerware teaspoon. I think that's probably, that might be like a whole teaspoon if you were measuring. It's not quite, I don't think it looks like a, quite a tablespoon, but it looks like a, a good, a good dollop. Okay. And then the last one, you know, this is, this is a pretty quick snack to put together and gosh, don't you love those leftovers? I just love making sandwich sandwiches out of the leftovers from Thanksgiving. Okay. So that looks pretty darn good. How about that? Okay. Now the, um, the tops go on. Let's see this way. Okay. So the tops go on like this and I got these cute uh, toothpick skewers. Bam they're bamboo toothpicks and they have this cute little knot on the top. I think that's really nice. And this is, for, for this type of sandwich, this is a really good idea because it keeps, keeps it stable. Okay, so let's get that top on. Toothpick and I think I'm just going to leave this one off so everybody can see what we've what we've got going on here. Let me just get this positioned over here. Okay, so here we go. So we have our turkey, or in this case, chicken, cranberry slider sandwiches. Okay, these, um, this is gonna be really yum. So I'm gonna go put this on the table and I'll come back and we'll make our beverage. Oh. Can't wait to dig into that. Okay, let's move some of this stuff. Okay, so tonight for our beverage, we're gonna be making a variation of a Moscow mule. Okay, so this one is an orange cinnamon Moscow mule. And I do not have one of those copper cups, so you know, maybe maybe somebody can get me that for my next birthday. So we're starting off with vodka, of course. So the two main components in a Moscow mule is vodka and ginger beer. So I have what uh, right here, this is the Fever Tree brand ginger beer. beer. I, I have recently become acquainted with this product and I tell you, I really like um, the ginger beer much better than ginger ale. It has, to me, it has a more sophisticated taste and it's, it's a little spicier and it's not so, um, you know, there's like, when you drink ginger ale, there's like a sugary aftertaste. This does not have that. It tastes much cleaner. Okay, so the other, for our drink, the other component is orange juice and cinnamon simple syrup. So simple syrup is basically a sugar water combination that has been heated. So the sugar is all dissolved. And the purpose of that is so that you can sweeten a drink without having to worry about trying to dissolve granulated sugar because it doesn't dissolve well in cold water. So I'll, I will put a recipe at the end in the description box of how you can make this. And this is definitely something in the fall is a great thing to have on hand because you can use it for different things and I will list some of those ideas out in the description box. Okay, so let's get our glass. So I have, uh, today I have a rocks glass. This, um, I got a thrift store, has a lot of facets on it, which I think is really nice. And plus the other thing about that is it's easy to grip because of that, you know, sometimes you have a glass that's so smooth, it can just slide out of your hands. So I like things that, you know, help you, actually help you grip onto it. Okay, so we're going to start with one ounce of vodka. And this, this drink does not require a shaker. So this is a two ounce shot glass. So we're just going to fill it halfway up. Put that in there. Okay, now we have two ounces of ginger ale. Oh, sorry. 
orange juice, the orange juice. So two ounces of the orange juice. So that's a full shot glass here. Okay, and now we're gonna have four ounces of ginger beer. I am, I think what I'm gonna do, I, I don't know if it's gonna be four ounces, but I'm just gonna mostly fill this up with the ginger beer. And then we're gonna have a half an ounce of the cinnamon syrup. This is gonna be a really nice combination. Actually, you know, cinnamon syrup, the first time I made cinnamon syrup, I made it to put on top of a winter citrus fruit salad. What? you can smell that. Mm. Okay, maybe just a little, a little more. Okay, so that goes right in there. All right, now I'm just gonna grab a straw and give it a quick stir. Okay, and then I have a orange, a half a orange slice here to garnish it. And there you go. So here is our orange cinnamon Moscow Mule. Cheers, you have a great Friday. I know I'm starting my holiday decorating tomorrow morning, so I pulled things out of the closets. My place is a mess. <laughs> it's like a bomb went off in here but i hope that you are having a pleasant weekend if you're visiting with family or maybe you did a lot of shopping today i hope you'll take time to sit down have a cocktail chill out and have a nice snack you take care and i will see you soon